Um, you described the um, sorry. You described the sin of not having a relationship with God as unforgivable. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? Just until I do have a relationship with God? Yes. But while you're choosing to not have a relationship with God, then no relationship with God can ever be established, right? Because that's the exercise of your will. As a result of that, it's unforgivable while you engage that sin. It's only once you repent of that sin or you could say decide to change that, decide to change the fact that now I do want a relationship with God, that that sin can be forgiven. Does that make sense? And just making the decision to change automatically repents or I need to repent for... Well, you Not need to go through the process of repentance, okay. Okay. which is a completely process which we'll be discussing probably in a couple of years' time, in more full, <laughs> <laughs> more fully. But, but in this program, I mean. Okay. But, uh, but the reality is, I've already introduced those kind of topics to you in yep. the past, so you can sort of see what it's involved. But yep. it goes; it requires more than just thinking, "Oh, I'm going to change that," doesn't it? Because there's feelings inside of you that cause that to occur that have to be addressed. Thank Remember you. the feelings that we looked at in the very first day of the very first group, the feelings that we have about love and God's love, they have a very large impact on our ability to change that. Yeah. Okay, so if we go to Sandra on this side. So when you were talking about um, that, that be being the biggest sin, not having a relationship with God and because of the benefits, mm -hmm. is it because it is out of harmony uh, with love of self? Yeah, it's hugely out yeah. of harmony with love of self. Um, and in fact, in fact, there is a limit of your development if you choose to not have a relationship with God. You're actually limiting yourself quite severely by not having a relationship with God. And every spirit who's done that, limited their relationship with God, finishes their development in the sixth sphere of the spirit world. When there are actually 36 spheres they could be moving to, they've limited their development. So, so this tells you that obviously the limitation is a self-imposed limitation. To go beyond the sixth sphere requires a relationship with God. So, so if you're not going to have a relationship with God, you're purposefully limiting your own development Saturday. so because god loves us so much and the universe is based on love that's why because it's all about love like basically so god's like well if you yeah i kind of so god's saying you can choose to ignore me if you want yeah. but by choosing to ignore me you impose upon yourself a whole heap of limitations and they're self-imposed and they're breaking God's law. They're breaking God's biggest laws. They're all the biggest laws are, so, are associated with development of love in the human soul, receiving love from God, and the transformation of the human soul. So, so they're actually breaking, breaking God's biggest laws. So therefore, they're a sin. Remember, we said sin is any time we're out of harmony with God's laws. It doesn't matter which one. So you know, you could choose to jump off a building. You're out of harmony with the law of gravity. It's a sin from God's perspective. If you chose to jump off. If you were pushed off, it was somebody else's sin. If you jumped off with a uh, you know, hang glider on your back, then you haven't sinned because you're engaging a higher law. So you'll fly off and you'll be probably okay. Unless you break that law, you'll be fine. Do you see? And, and this applies to all of God's laws including the God's highest laws, which relate to our relationship with God. 